The EPA has announced the first ever enforceable limits today for so-called forever chemicals in drinking water. The agency is restricting six toxic chemicals they say are currently found in the water systems of 94 million people. CBS 2's Carolyn Gussoff reports there was strong reaction on Long Island where chemicals have been found in some water supplies at high levels. Had you heard of PFAS? Uh, just recently, yes. The Yanaros of Syosset say they're fine with tap water, but don't pour it for their son. It could get me sick sometimes. Soon there will be assurances that the public water supply has low levels of forever chemicals. PFAS, which build up in the environment and take centuries to break down. They've been linked to deadly cancers, liver, heart, fertility, and developmental problems. These chemicals entering our environment in an uncontrolled manner are harmful to our families, harmful to our communities, and harmful to our economy. The EPA will now require public water systems to monitor, report, and reduce by filtering most common PFAS. Citizens' Campaign for the Environment calls the new rules the greatest public health victory in a generation. PFAS chemicals are right now classified as one of the most toxic chemicals uh, in our society. It has been a challenge. It has been an expense. But most of all, it has been a public health threat. The man-made chemicals are used in food packaging, non-stick products, waterproofing, carpet, firefighting foams. The time has come when the science has te is telling us we need to stop. Bottled water, it's safer. Not necessarily. There's no mandated PFAS testing for bottled water. Citizens' Campaign, which tracks PFAS by Long Island Community, says the levels constantly change. That's why the standard national limit is needed. The new four parts per trillion limit is less than half of what New York allows. The EPA estimates that nationwide up to 10% of public water systems will need new filtration. On Long Island, that's roughly Roughly 1 million residents who will have safer water. In Jericho, Long Island, Carolyn Gossoff, CBS 2 News. And the EPA will give water suppliers five years to test and treat for PFAS. $1 billion in funding will help states and water districts meet the new standards.